I gotta tell you, there are um, there are things that make me hate the time the the timeline I live in sometimes. Well, unusual. I mean, granted, that's not sandwich because everything annoys the crap out of me now. Like uh, everyone likes to call me the Eeyore of the group. I've been doing that since I was in middle school and high school. But what happened with Dragon Age that reveal just had me going like, "Well, it's official. Bioware is dead." I mean, they've. I mean, we've kind of known they were already dead for a while. Like, I think Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda, did a good job of establishing that. Like, the Bioware that I like that I discovered more more than before. If I ever played a game before Dragon Age two, I don't remember it. But the, the Bioware I discovered through Dragon Age 2 and then Origins, because that was kind of the order I first played them, unfortunately. Well, to some people. And, like, that Bioware, it's like the Barry Goldwater era of the Arizona Republican Party. That's long in the rear view mirror. Or dead. Um, the Another way I would describe it is, like, Bioware now is a bit like Disney is, like, Disney, the corporation, is nothing like Walt Disney. Walt Disney was... <laughs> to give you an idea of how different the two are and how much of a disgrace Disney is to his name, or how much the Disney corp company is a disgrace to Walt Disney's legacy is, and also kind of his family is also maybe a little bit of a disgrace to depend on you look at, but Walt Disney, um, in the 40s, you know how we hear about the HUAC and McCarthy because they would always conflate McCarthyism with the House of Un-American Activities Division? Or committee. Well, um, these two are not the same, but funny thing. Walt Disney was around during this time, which I know is probably shocking to some people. I don't know, I'm just kidding. But he was actually called in to testify, and before this, a commie had actually threatened him to let him do a strike. I'm not saying Disney was basically going challenge fucking accepted, but it be might as well have. Like, he not only, t like, Walt Disney on the subject of communism, he was, um, to borrow from Razor, is kind of, sort of, ever so slay, monumentally, fundamentally fucking based. Seriously, this man walked into that hearing, and he basically threw them under the bus like the fat kid in South Park. Only not in a cowardly way. Like, like seriously, he was like, yeah, fuck these commies. Fuck them. I mean, he wasn't saying that, but he might as well have been, because he was basically talking about how they were trying to absorb an animator he worked with, and they begged him to get involved. And he basically was like, yeah, this this guy's a, a commie. He's, or I believe he is. Because uh, the guy's name was Herb Stroll. And Herb Stroll, he wasn't like a card-carrying member of the Communist Party of America. He was more like, I consider him either him a proxy, a mercenary, or he was like an unofficial. Because this guy had no consistency. And here's the funny thing about commies you're probably never going to hear from a history professor. They had no qualms with working with scummy people. And Herb Sorrell was very scummy. Don't believe me? Oh, when he was younger, he tried to join the clan, like the classic clan, not the modern clan, back when they still hated everyone that wasn't white. The only reason he couldn't join was because he was he was friends with a Catholic. But anyway, um, so Walt Disney, the founder and the a modern Disney company, these are two different things in, together. One cucks out the commies of China on the daily. Walt Disney probably, if he was still alive, he'd probably be like, yeah, get fucked. I'm not doing that. I'm not pandering to these fuckers. Screw them. That's kind of what Bioware is now. They are, like, last I heard, one of the people who founded Bioware, or at the very least Mass Effect, he left Bioware in, disp in despair and now gets professionally shit-faced for a living. That's how much EA fucked it up, more or less. Like, well, not EA, but that's how much of it's gone down. How I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty normal for, like, all the businesses that deal with games now, like, they've sold out to the corpos who just are so soulless they make a serial killer seem more personable by comparison. And, anyway, you're probably wondering, okay, what does this have to do with Dragon Age? Um, a lot, actually. Because I saw some of the trailer and I've been seeing, like, people commentate on it, and all I'm thinking is, wow, I mean, and they say Crime Wave didn't know what it wanted to be. Like, Sam Raimi one time said his movie Crime Wave, which he believed that actually nearly ended his and Bruce Campbell's career because a bunch of corpo douchebags fucked it up so bad, or fucked it up more. But he said that was a film that did not know what it wanted to be. That's what this game looks like. It looks nothing like Inquisition. It looks nothing like 2, and it looks nothing like Origins. Granted, the three sort of have a different art style to them, but this is, like, vastly, vastly different. Very different. I'm forgetting the fact that it looks like a Popeyes commercial also. Um... Yeah, no, it just looks, like, I think people have been comparing it to, like, Fortnite, I'm like, yeah, more or less, this does look like a, like a shitty version of a Fortnite in fantasy form. 
Like, and what's even more sucky is like I like Dragon Age. It's one of those fantasy games I've always gotten into it ever since two. So ever since two, you haven't gotten into it. Like I got two, I got Origins, then Inquisition after it came out back when I still lived in Arkansas. And recently, I got two of the lore book, two of the uh, prequel books to Origins about Merrick and Logan's time during the Civil War, and oh yeah, that time Duncan worked with King Merrick. Um, and these are fun, and so far I've enjoyed them. I've only read a little bit, but so it really kills me because I think I said this. I can't remember if I said this before on a video or just to my friends, but what kills me about these corporations cucking out to the Wokies is like you are ruining everything. Some things that have lasted for generations, like three people at best have en of generate three generations of people have enjoyed these things, and you are ruining them for a fucking fad. Wokeness is a fad, and it's one that's going out of style, worse than disco, and even more justifiably. Um, Jesus Christ! Like they ruined Mass Effect, and now they're ruining Dragon Age. Like two IPs I've enjoyed. Like it was even more fucked up about Mass Effect was like. That was a goat, like, 3 was a goat fucked of an ending, like, seriously, when 3 came out, I, I swear to God, in hindsight, it was like I was in the middle of the French Revolution seeing everyone cart off everyone to the guillotine, only I was sane. I'm like, no, I was pissed, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't that pissed. Then there was Andromeda, and I was like, okay, this is, and I didn't even finish Andromeda, like, one, it was kind of like The Last of Us Part 1, after I got to a certain point in the game, I took it out, and I planned to go back to it, and I just never did. So that's, like, I didn't have that problem with Inquisition, because it was still fun. Like, it still felt like a Dragon Age game. Andromeda, eh, hit or miss. I actually know more of a miss than a hit. Seriously, a Parkinson-afflicted rifleman had better consistency when shooting them with that game. But, so they've kind of lost, like, it almost feels like they've lost their idea. And, like, at this point, fuck it, let these corporations and game developers die in a blaze of fire. Not even glory, just let them burn out. It's not even like Motorhead. Motorhead at least had the, the glory of burning out brightly and being fondly remembered. Some of these games will be fondly remembered, but the companies and people who made them and their last entries will not be remembered fondly. In fact, people will probably be shitting on them till their dying day. Like uh, Orson Welles with that stupid sled, or Sarkeesian with Gamergate. They'll all be dying, whispering, fuck that entry and fuck those developers it'll probably be like that i actually i'm hoping that that's if i ever have any last words i'm hoping that's mine either that or invictus or nah fuck it invictus that'd be a good few last words um and it's just kind of annoying i'm just saying to myself like this is not Dragon Age. This is not Dragon Age. This is not the Dragon Age, like, two origin or origins. This is nothing like either of them. Because as much as people shit on two, or they did, I don't know I don't know what the consensus is now. I I liked it back then because that was my first Dragon Age game, and I still like it, even though I haven't played it in years. Probably because I can never get the Staff of Parthalon without free order, and that pisses me off because that was a cool-looking staff. It looks even cooler with the champion armor. But anyway... I look back at those games finally, like, Origins was even better, because when I played Origins after 2, I was like, okay, no wonder people are pissed. This is like, this is like comparing Popeyes to Wendy's. Like, there, there's no comparison. One is definitely shittier than the other. And if you're wondering which is which, Popeyes is superior. Blow, kiss my ass, Wendy's. Um, and, and this feels like even worse. Like, at least with the Inquisition, you could tell the developers were trying to win back some of the fans they alienated with 2. Like, they were still trying to be faithful to the to the source of the games that came before, or the first one. Because or Inquisition, for a lack of better terms, it is basically more of an Origins ripoff. Well, not a ripoff, but it's more Origins than anything. And that is kind of a problem, because when people try to reclaim their glory days, they seem to not do anything original. Well, sometimes. That was kind of one of my complaints with that with the Supernatural show with those two douchebag brothers. Like, I like them, but they got to be douchebags near the end. Um, but with this, it's like, not only are they trying to be different, but they're trying to be different in the worst possible way they are. And it's intentional because I'm willing to bet money. It's kind of like with Andromeda. The, the fuckers who made Andromeda were a bunch of 20-somethings who I'll bet you money had never had any life experience a day in their, well, life. And that's just my feelings. Like, 
Yeah, Bioware, if with any luck, this is the final nail in your coffin, because much like the clan, you should die with dignity. I mean, I should know the clan's not down with dignity, but I think you both should. Seriously, fuck them both. And that's just my opinion on the subject of, like, this. Well, and also the fact that just, I saw someone who revealed the like-to-dislike ratio, and, um... Holy shit, it's not like the rank is a power ratio, but it's a uh, store ratio. So yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, fuck it. It's going down like the Titanic. Only no one's crying. Because, actually, you know, some people will be crying, actually, because unlike the Titanic, this is a tragedy. A Darth Plagueis-like tragedy to me, so. That's what I thought of the matter. Have a nice day. Early game was right from the start.